All right, this is day 23 on our 50-day journey towards living a more generous life. You're doing good. Rick Warren and, uh, had a, an interesting idea when he wrote his book, The Purpose Driven Life. Family Life Radio talks about it, about when it, it says, we should be living intentionally. They both have the, the concept in mind about what our, our thought for today is. God has good works for you to do during your lifetime. I mean, oftentimes as Christians, we think that God's desire for us is, oh, I should not do this, and I should not do that, and I should not do that, and all of those things that we are not supposed to do are, are things that uh, cause us to sin or sin specifically. And so we avoid those things. But I think uh, the purpose-driven life and I think the concept of living intentionally goes beyond those things that God wants us not to do and tells us God has good works for you to do. Notice what, what Scripture tells us. E Ephesians chapter 2, 10. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Can you imagine God preparing in advance? Okay, this is what I want Dale to do. If he will just follow this path, these are the things he will accomplish. These are the people that he will help. Can you, can you picture God doing that? His desire, his plan for us? Matthew chapter 5, 16 tells us, In the same way, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and praise your Father in heaven. Can you picture that? Good works that I do, good works that you do, people praising God for our good works. Oh, wouldn't it be nice when, when, when somebody says, Oh, wow, you are the answer to my prayers. Or somebody says, Are you an angel? You see, that's what God wants for us to do. He has specific good works that he desires for us to do in, in our lifetime to bring him honor and glory. Again, the Bible text that we're reading in our, in our blog today, it says, Tell the rich, 1 Timothy 6, Tell the rich to use their money to do good. They should be rich in good works and should give happily to those in need, always being ready to share with others whatever God has given to them. By doing this, they will be storing up real treasure for themselves in heaven. This is the only safe investment for eternity. God's plan, God's desire for us is to do good works. I love the quote that's at the, at the bottom of our page today. Many people go to their graves with God's unplayed music still inside of them. Don't waste your God-given life with low living, small planning, mundane talking, constant grumbling, or cheap giving. Be all that God has called you and equipped you to be. God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for my life. His plan is for us to do good. Will you accomplish God's plan today?